Dr. Selma here, and if you've watched my videos or read anything I've posted over the years or even read my doctoral dissertation, you know that my expertise is on the Pareto Principle, which is also known as the 80-20 rule. The 80-20 rule is that you get 80% of your results in life by 20% of the things you do. I'm going to repeat that. The Pareto Principle, which is named after an Italian man who figured this out, it's that 80% of your results come from 20% of your actions. So my doctoral dissertation was on that. And what I did was I did qualitative analysis of a college football program and evaluated 10 coaches and how they coach and figured out that one in every five things they did led to 80% of their success. And that if they could just eliminate the other four things, they would get even more successful. Now, if you read the articles I post on tripleoptionfootball.com, and you watch the videos and you listen to the audios, because I just put audios on YouTube. I, I just do that. Instead of just staring at my face for minutes at a time, I do it this way. You'll understand that I want you, the head high school football coach, and I make all these videos for head high school football coaches. Sorry, everybody else, I do, because they're the ones who are gonna pay me and become my clients. So, for head high school football coaches, I am constantly telling you to eliminate 80 plus percent of what you're doing. Now, I'm going to give you another game changing answer I got from a man who's generated, I think it's over 10 billion in capital now as a venture capitalist. His name is Oren Claff. You can look him up. He's written two books. Game-changing books. And Oren Claff taught me personally. He because he knew I did my doctoral dissertation on the 80-20 rule. He goes, Lou, he goes, you're gonna learn when you make real money. It's not about the 80-20 rule, it's about the 96-4 rule. That you gotta take 80% of 80%, 20%, 20%. But what you really have to do is you got to take 80, 20 and take the 80, 20 of that. And that's your real answer. So it becomes the 96, four rule. That 96% of your results comes from the top 4% of what you do. So if you're doing 25 different things, one of those things is giving you your results. Result, I should say. So really, it comes down to doing one thing in your life that really, really makes a difference in getting your results. Now, what stick primarily to football here, because that's why you're here. So, when it comes to the triple option offense. There's really one reason you run it. The reason you're going to get results is because you're canceling the defensive line. You're canceling the defensive line by triple teaming the guy over the guard, reading the play side defensive line with the mid triple, and tossing the ball so far outside of the defensive line that they physically can't make the play. That's really what you're doing in the offense to get your result. And if you go all in on that, you'll get closest to maximizing success with your players. The problem is too many coaches still have that physical education teacher mentality of how to get it done. They get caught up in grind culture. They get caught up in that if we just do so much, that eventually our kids will get it because we'll bring it, it was the old militaristic way of doing things how they trained soldiers in Vietnam. Well, that's why we got our faces kicked in in Vietnam. 
because it's so technical now. Warfare is, football is, but here's the thing. You've got to look at what you're doing in practice. And I did this with a college football program eight, nine years ago. We broke down what they do. Because they practiced in 24, in 24 five-minute periods. And I asked the question to, the, to each coach. I said, which is the most important period? Of all these periods, if you can only do one, what period will you do? Every coach said, well, team... Right, because you're running plays, you're cutting to the chase. So the question is, if you know that there's one thing that's going to get you to where you need to get you, wouldn't you go all in on that? So you've got to figure out what that one thing is. I have it figured out for you, because this is not a gym teacher channel. You want that, go call my brother. My brother's a kindergarten physical education teacher here in Pennsylvania. You're not going to get that here. What you're going to get here is the truth. And the bottom line is this. If you're going to do one thing at practice, it's going to be to run plays. You're going to run the triple option. You have one mission. That mission is cancel the defensive line. If you come up with a better reason, I love to hear it. Tweet it to me, message it to me. You can get a hold of me a hundred different ways. But the bottom line is if you cancel the defensive line by reading them instead of blocking them, triple teaming the player over to guard, or getting the ball so far outside the defensive line can't make the play, your chances of winning are greater than anything else you'll ever do. And you got to do it under center because you got to get the ball to clear the line of scrimmage fast. Because when the ball is, when you go gun and you want to be a commie, the ball goes in the air, then there's an exchange of action. You don't have time. You're not good enough. That's why you're here. So, how does the Pareto principle apply to the triple option offense? First of all, you run plays in practice. Second of all, you maintain that mission. You practice the mission of canceling the defensive line. The triple team on the zone dive. Cancel the defensive line with the football, so... It can't be right with the mid-triple. Getting the ball so far outside that the D-line can't make the play with the toss. You do those three things, and you get the ball to hit quick, that will be your best chance of winning. And you make sure it's done under center. That's your best chance of winning. So that's how you utilize the Pareto principle to maximize success with the triple option offense.